there was a kid who was smoking cigarettes, and I told the mother, I think you should buy him cigarettes. And she told me, my father died of lung cancer. How can I buy my kid cancer sticks? So I feel, I feel very bad, you know, this is not, not very geschmack, I don't like this, you know. But I said, imagine if they made a new kind of cigarette that they sold in stores, that in each cigarette has a little ingredient that takes away one percent, a hundredth of a percent, the taiva to smoke, and after a thousand of these cigarettes, everybody quits. Right? Each one that you smoke, up to, and at a thousand, you don't want to smoke. Would you buy that for your kid? She said, of course. So I said, I'm telling you just my experience of so many parents who told me that this worked. That the cigarettes that mommy and tati buy for the child has a secret ingredient in there, and it makes them want to stop smoking. I'm not even trying to get kids to stop smoking. Nobody comes to me with a problem. My kid smokes. We're dealing with way worse stuff. And by accident, their parents are telling me, and talking about dozens and dozens, I bought him and I bought him and I bought him, and they get angry. This shmageggy kid, punk now, after I got him $100 worth of cigarettes, today he decided to stop smoking? They stop not because they're on empty and because they can't get it. They stop even when they have tons, whenever it is that they stop. There's a certain segula. I'm just telling you my experience. The, it's, it's unethical, it's illegal, it blah, 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 blah. I'm telling you my experience. If you want your kids to stop smoking, not everybody, and I think it's part of the whole TP package. It's not just that. But there's an ingredient in the things that we supply that just crumbles the whole, there's no rebellion, there's no geschmack. It just, it goes bye-bye. If we had the guts and we really believed it, and I can't tell you, I can only tell you, I, I'm just telling you the truth. You can put me on a lie detector test. I'm telling you what I've seen, what I've uncovered. And we have the parents who, who, who testify to this. You would realize that supplying these things as part of the whole thing is healing them so they don't need it. As part of the whole thing. Because other parents, they hear a little clip and they go out and they buy stuff and they, the kid still feels hated and unloved and they think you're going to give the kid a television. And they say, how come it didn't work? It's part of a whole understanding. It's part of a treatment method. And part of that treatment method, we would try to buy even more for them if we understood that this is in it is a healing process. That when we shine our light of support and <coughs> supplying to the kids consistently, consistently, I wish the therapy world would send down a team of people to meet all the parents and do statistics. Because I have, we have 600 tracks of testimony. We have parents on the group constantly saying it. Amazing. My kids stopped this. My kids stopped that. Why? Because you're supplying it. And if it's part of this whole treatment method, they don't need it. Everybody knows, everybody knows today that the kids who are drinking themselves to oblivion and smoking stuff and, and troubled are in pain. And those kids who are in pain, when their parents are told you're not allowed to enable, the kids get everything anyway. They're the most enabled group of people in the entire world. The new iPhone 50 comes out. The first people to have it are the millionaires and all the kids on the street. How do they get it? I have some of you parents, you tell me, I'm trying to get a phone. Three months later, you're still looking at a plan and you need a credit card and you're not sure which one to do. How do they get it? And every 13-year-old kid, right, they get an iPhone. You take it away, within three hours, they have another iPhone. Where does it come from? Right, I say taking stuff away from the kids. It's like the Tzvardeya and Mitzrayim. Every time you take one away, two pop up. And where does it come from? Like from Shemayim, all of a sudden, an iPhone, an iPad, and it all comes to Shemayim, and the parents are still here. Yeah, I spoke to my son, and I'm going to go to the, to the store, and I'm looking up plans, and we're not sure where to get, and we don't have credit, and the phones. It's like the biggest deal for anybody over 40 to get a phone, and anybody under 12, like that. They have a phone. Where, where? How do you have a phone? You don't even have a credit card. You, you, know, you, you, you still have a pacifier in your mouth, and you have a phone, and I take it away, and the next day, another phone. It's unbelievable. It's like, ta-da! What? Sure they, have they have your credit cards, what they have. <laughs> they have it. They have hookups, hook up, schmookups. They have everything. So you tell your kid, no, we don't believe in smoking. It's not healthy for you. I'm not giving you cigarettes. Okay, is there a statistic that anybody quit smoking because his parents didn't buy him cigarettes? I'll tell you a statistic. 100% of kids smoking have parents who don't want them to smoke. That's a statistic. That, is that true? And the funniest thing is you have parents who smoke. And they still tell the kid, I'll kill you if I catch you with a cigarette. Uh, they can't even talk. I'll kill you if I catch you with a cigarette. Like, how could you be angry at your kid while you... The kid can't even see you through the smoke. And you're telling him, I'll kill you. And they, they get so angry. Like, and, and, you know, parents, something happens to us when we have kids. We become a sugar. You know, I have friends of mine. They tell the kids stuff like, whoever heard of such a thing? Whoever heard of such a thing? 
And after the kid leaves, I'll tell him, you did much worse when you were in yeshiva. Whoever heard of such a thing to leave yeshiva early? You remember, I was with you when we cut for a week. Like, who are you talking to? He, t- he told his kid, such a haircut, such a haircut. This guy had the bushiest hair. It's like we become like, no, we were angels. Whoever heard of such a thing? And we're like so angry at the kids. So, nachzer in yanenu. When we are there for our kids, they feel that we're there for them. So therefore, they need less of this bad stuff. It, it just rebuilds them over time with patience from the inside to feel taken care of. I'm very sorry for you that in order for your kid to feel taken care of, he needs this, this, and this, and this. I really wish that he needed a new black hat you know, f- uh, from Borsalino and a new capota and a gartel and a new set of Ribakiva Eger. I wish... But that's what you have to realize, that when you are supplying that thing, you're not supplying evil, you're supplying medicine. Because that's the highest statistic for him to not need this. Ki yidua liyayde, liyayde kips.